Expo for, for short. My name is Alice Abina Dahl. I think you probably know me if you're watching my timeline. And uh, I'm here with Linda Steli from Switzerland. And we're expecting Aura from India and somebody from South Africa in a couple of seconds. So Linda, tell us a little bit, tell us 20 seconds. What, what is it that you do in a nutshell, please? Okay, I'm, <laughs> what I'm doing, I'm actually supporting not only, but mainly women when they have a problem in relationships, either when they go through a, through a breakup, a divorce, or when they want to connect with their trust after breakup, or when they have difficulties in, a, in, a, in a other connections. Just really, that's my <laughs> Okay, all right. So you're supporting women. Linda from Steli from Switzerland supporting women and uh, Gaurav Kumar from India. We still can't see your video, but we're just going to do without. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do, Gaurav, please? Uh, yeah. Hi, Natalie. Hi, everyone. So this is Kumar Goro. I am a freedom trainer. So I am on mission to help 100,000 people using the art of manifestation to come out of stress in any area of their life be it health wealth happiness relationship anything okay so, yeah amazing thank you kumar so we have two great experts on the call um what i want to do is ask you about a positive story or a strategy that you're using in the time of crisis and challenge we're not going to discuss what's going on we're not going to discuss what's not working because uh, we already see enough of that in the media and we want to focus on what's positive around this whole crisis so what is right. that you, is that okay with you guys? Ah, oh, now we can see you. Ah, oh, very nice. A little bit. <laughs> hey, it's good to see you, Kuma. Technology, hey, we're so happy it works. <laughs> so Linda, yeah. uh, tell me, is, uh, what is it that you would like to share with our audience today? Um, actually, I want to share some body practices to disrupt fear pattern, fear responses in the body. Because I think when we go into fear, we are not connected with our resources and cannot actually uh, respond in creative ways to, mm. to challenges. So these are uh, practices that Katie Hendricks has uh, created and she worked with body intelligence and is also a relationship expert. And she has worked uh, with fear and how to disrupt fear pattern in the body. And they are very useful, I have to say. They're very quick and very useful. Wow, great. Thank you very much, Linda. Yeah, we talked about it yesterday that fear is damaging. It's not a good thing to happen to our immune system. Mm -hmm. yes. It weakens our immune system. And the more fearful we are, which is something that uh, a lot of this negativity on the media creates, uh, has a... Has an, uh, a reaction to this whole crisis that we don't really want to exactly focus otherwise on. we are going on and going on with, with, the, with the same thing so it's yeah. really important to disrupt that very quickly and there are actually four responses to fear i mean probably you know three of them it's fight flight freeze and there is also faint and you can disrupt these four patterns very quickly. And I just share the disruption, how you disrupt these four. So for, for five, when you're in this contraction and you have everything in, in your muscles, your whole life force, it's actually oozing. It's, it's a wonderful practice. Just feel like chocolate is going over your body and you're oozing and melting. And you can actually feel, you have to do it to, to feel the shift in the body. It's, it's fantastic and very quick. So it's oozing when you are in the fight. And then the second one is flight. That is when you just want to leave a situation to run the thing to disrupt this response is you have to ground yourself back it's like just imagine you're a sumo wrestler and you're stamped on the body and really bring your hip very close to the ground but you have to do it and you then you feel the shift in the body it's really body intelligence it doesn't work with the mind okay so so can i rephrase this so you're gonna sit down on the ground yeah no you you stamp it's like oh, yeah. a sumo 
a sumo, these, these sumo wrestlers, these uh, funny men from Japan <laughs> who, who do this stamping and, and really go down with the, with the hips close to the, to the ah, ground. You bend in your knees. Yes. Ah, yeah. it's so really standing up like a sumo ringer, so you have your feet planted on the ground. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. but you have you have to do it to feel the shift. It's really body intelligence. Mm -hmm. And the third one is freeze. You all know this when your body just freezes and you you are unmovable. And that is uh, actually to start wriggling first with the fingers and with the toes and just go on wriggling until you have to flow back in the body. It's a very uh, simple uh, uh, exercise, but it shifts immediately. And then do that until you feel the flow in the body again. Okay. And when, you, when you are in flow, you can connect to your resources and your creativity again. And the last one is when you fail. This is like maybe to describe when you space out, you just mm -hmm. disconnect with everything. And the disruption of this response is bring your awareness back to your body. Really bring it back to your body. Feel your body. Just maybe touch your heart or your head. Mm -hmm. so bring it back to your body and really expand, ex extend loving kindness and empathy to yourself. And from this place, face the situation and look what you feel. So these are very simple okay. uh, practices to, to shift it in the body. Okay, so let's do a little experiment. Are you guys game to do a little experiment? <laughs> <laughs> yes? So the freeze technique, how did it work again? You go, like, you kind of like... Wriggle. Wriggle. Wriggling with the fingers and the toes. You have to do it. <laughs> Wiggle it? Right. Come on. Come on and come Let's try this. Until you feel the movement, the flow in the body. You feel it immediately how it starts oh, to flow. Sure. Ah, I feel a lot happier already. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are so funny That's techniques. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Well, thank you very much for sharing this very practical hands-on technique. Yes. <laughs> you can get rid of your fear immediately. <laughs> thank you, Linda. All right. Welcome, somebody. Somebody from South Africa. Tell us really quickly, 15 seconds, what it is that you do. Who do you help? I'm a positive psychology coach, and I help women to create an abundant life and business and become a magnet to love and opportunities. Right. Thank you very much, Samari. Yes, Linda and Samari, you're doing similar things. You should connect. <laughs> yeah, we should, yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay, so uh, Kumar. What is it that you would like to share with us today? Either a story or a technique or strategy? Oh, you're muted. No, I can't hear you. Linda, no, I'm yep. going to mute you because I no. have background noise a little bad. So am I audible now? Yeah, you're audible now. Amazing. So you can address me as Gaurav. And uh, yes, so I can share with you my three techniques, uh, which I generally practice at any moment. So one which I sent you through my email is called Arigato Tio Technique. So what is Arigato Tio Technique? So Arigato means thank you in Japanese mm -hmm. and Tio means sun. Okay, in Japanese. So Arigato Tio is what? What is the reality actually? So reality is always the sun. Cloud is always temporary. The rain is temporary, which will come and go. So what happens? So in any kind of technique, you know, understanding is very important. So when you carry an understanding or your understanding is getting elevated um, by using any kind of technique, no fear comes in your life or, or it simply helps you to go with the confidence. So this Arigato uh, Tio technique, you have to say like this, Arigato Tio means thank you for the sun. Means if you are facing storm, if you are facing, you know, uh, 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 rain like cats and dogs, that time you are inviting the sun to spread its sunlight. So now in, uh, in the crisis of Corona, health is on state. So what do you need to do? We need to invite health and, and, and uh, you know, wellness in our society, in our surrounding. So what do you need to do? You need to say arigato for the health. And what you need to do, you need to anchor it. When you anchor it, you must be knowing because if you are related to self-development and NLP, it simply gets sinking down your body-mind system. 
so what happens it uh, uh, it let health come out in front of you uh, uh, and uh, it uh, simply surrounds you with the health so so the whatever the anti uh, negative is there which is called as positive that you have to speak about and you have to attach one um, uh, this uh, what do you call anchor with it so when i say arigato for the health and you just uh, added this anchor as a snap as a, a stick or you can just clap like this arigato okay let's take it on so we can all follow so what you do is you say arigato health and then you snap yeah yeah so, so that's that's very simple arigato so you, health arigato um money money so i'll i'll share one small uh, uh, small story over here what used to happen uh, i was living in another city where a lot of traffic were there and you i used to travel to you know my office uh, which was on around 10 miles away or 10 kilometers away in fact so that that time because of traffic i never you know uh, used to uh, reach my office in time so i always told over there arigato for reaching to the destination before time so so what happens i am attract attracting the destiny the destination destiny she, uh, destiny is uh, destiny is always eternal so uh, nature is getting its message that he is talking about destiny right? but in physical world i have to reach to my office so how it is getting aligned with nature as well i am sending a message a vibration to the nature which is helping me to uh, reach to my desti uh, destination in reality and also in physical world it is forcing uh, forcing me to reach over there so i always said like this arigato for reaching to the destination before time like this and anchor yeah. always came <laughs> yeah yeah just a snap so yeah. it's, it's anchor simple so Very i have I have practiced this technique since last 15 years and it has always always and always helped me. Okay. So that was that was number one. Can you yeah. tell me how do you spell arigato? I put it in the chat but I think um num, 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 num. I can, I can. I can. without a so, t h a r i g a t o p h o arigato. Arigato. Oh okay good. So let's all try this together on the count of 3 arigato health, okay? <laughs> yeah, arigato for health. Yeah. One, One, two, two three. three. Arigato. Arigato. Health. Health. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> That's so simple, right? Yeah, really. Thank you. Thank you, Health. You, you so, said thank you before it, and then uh, you snap and angry. All right. Let's yeah, yeah. Or in case, in so, case you are in public, you can do a simple, simple uh, snap. Like people won't stare at you, but you are doing or something like that. You can simply just, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, just just make a fist and release it that's okay. it simple well i think we're not gonna meet many people when we're in public right now <laughs> <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> so that's, that's the good sign hey thank you very much that was very helpful i got to help yes. one last one last uh, so if um, you are running okay, sort of time um, uh, this is one liner okay go okay ahead. so this technique i have always learned from my spiritual master he always said that if you are attracting fear through your thoughts that time you need to chant a mantra that mantra is very simple you have to say i am god's property only health and faith can touch me simple so it elevates your understanding and what of prosperity i am god's property god's superpowers god. oh, i'm god's property okay i yeah. am god's property, property. only oh. health and faith can touch me and faith yes can touch me that's it so okay. it simply evolves your understanding further and it lets you do miracle in your life all right very good thank you very yeah. much thank you very much that was really interesting from, <laughs> yeah. from uh that's india good. you said how do i address you not kumar it's gaurav gaurav yeah kumar is my second name my surname so gaurav yeah. okay gaurav okay good thank you very much and now back to samare or do you have any questions to to Gorov, the two of you, no, very clear. Arigato, health. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be fun. Somebody, what would you like to share with us? You live in uh, Cape Town, right? Wow. Uh, you're muted. Wait, hold on. Let me unmute you. So there you go. Okay. So yes, I first of all, I'm actually in a quarantine for two weeks now because I. Uh, 
arrived two nights ago from Germany. I had to be there for three days for work. So um, this is a, a this is an adventure. <laughs> and that's why I'm actually learning how to be constructive and productive rather when I have to sit still. And it, it, it's teaching me to also like uh, share my experience with other people that they have to be in such a experience, such a situation. But before that, what I want to really like focus is that um, inviting people to choose poise over panic. Because when it's very simple, yes, it's something is going on. This coronavirus is going on. Everyone is in a state of fear and panic. And we know that uh, the truth, some things are fact and truth. And the fact and the truth is that when you are in the state of panic and fear, your immune system drops down and anything can enter the body so that's the almost the first step to focus on before even thinking how am i going to deal with it when it's there imagine like you could do something about uh, this virus not to attack your body and that's choosing poise over panic and how can we do that by asking ourselves okay how in case first of all if this comes around how is it going to benefit me in my life? This is a very difficult question because everyone focuses on how is this going to ruin my life or how is it going to be dangerous? No one ever asks because at the end of the day, we live in a world of duality and balance. And no one ever asks, okay, what is the hidden blessing? How is it going to help me? And um, funny enough, just a while back, I did ask this question of myself, not knowing that this is where I'm going to be right now, like in a few days or a week later. And when you ask that, you actually start to come up with, with answers that you never thought of it before. And while, you, while you're coming up with the positive answers and you really your, your mind and your brain starts getting balanced, you start calming down and you start getting relaxed. In that state of being, you have more of a chance of being safe and not having inviting the virus in your body than someone that is actually in stress and in the space, in the space and uh, vibration of um, uh, fear. So that's one thing that I would really want to invite people to think about it and maybe rather be mindful and do meditations, do breathing and try to start focusing on the positive because not the negative is everywhere and it's only you that can change that for yourself. 100%. And also in case, in case if you came to be in such a situation like me now, because we don't know now that I might be carrying it or not when you are kind of a suspect and you go into a two weeks quarantine or something or, or isolation, you can actually sit and start thinking of all the horrible things that can happen or things that can go wrong, which I could do the same. Or you can start basically getting up, putting a little bit of makeup and try to see how you can make this fun. So when since I woke up this morning, um, I did a bit of a stretch. I did dancing in my room for like 10 minutes. I had done meditations. I read book for about an hour and a half and I've been working on my business. Yes. So very, very good. basically you're gonna ha you have to just become aware of what your values are and just focus on those yes. that can bring inspiration to you. And that's really something that I think it can just help to instead of sitting in desperation, sitting in productiveness and yes. constructiveness of you. your Quarantine. Yeah, thank you very much, Sally. Yes. So the Amazing. name of the show, what you focus on, expand. You focus on the negative and the things that don't work. You constantly think about it and replay them in your head. That's exactly. what's going to happen. If you focus on the positive, uh, that's what's going to happen. So what am I not... At the end of the day, the subconscious mind doesn't know what you're thinking of is the truth or a lie. Yeah, so exactly. you rather focus on the positive and that's what you bring on. Yes, focus on it and you'll get more of it. And uh, what I say to myself whenever something happens, everything happens for a reason, and the reason, and, and it's here to serve me. The reason is here to serve me. So just look for whatever nugget you can find in any challenging situation. And for me today, I'm wearing the GoPro shirt, and on the back here, you can read it. <laughs> I'll post a picture of it. It's from one of my mentors, Mac Newton. When we were uh, at the UPDP in, in Arizona, he sells his T-shirts and he talks about it. To go pro means, and I want to just share two sentences and it really fits the situation. To go pro means you can be counted on to come through in a crisis. 
And to go pro means you can face unpleasantness, among other things. I'll post it later, but uh, this is kind of like my word for today. Face unpleasantness and come through in a crisis. Come through for your fellow mates and come through for your neighbors. Come through for your elderly people who ever need your help. All right. It's been really amazing to have you from India, from every little corner of the, of the world, from Cape Town and from Switzerland, myself sitting <laughs> in Switzerland as well. So let's end this with a snap. With a arigato health snap. Can we do that all together on the count of three again? Yes. Let's Arigato, One, help. two, three. Arigato, help. Help. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. All right, I'll see, you, I'll see some of you tomorrow. One thirty. we're going to have the same show, but different experts. Thank awesome. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye, guys. <laughs>